who out there has called themselves a comic fan and is unfamiliar with Alan Moore, Grant Morrison, Warren Ellis, Peter Milligan, you know, these are kind of like old school greats, just like the Stan Lees and people like that, and the uh, Ninja Turtles guys, uh, Eastman and Laird. So let's just talk about Tom Strong and Supreme really quickly. Uh, Supreme is pretty much, I assume, why he went ahead and did Tom Strong in the America's Best Comics, which pissed off Alan Moore, and he wound up getting, they got, Wildstorm got sold over to DC, which he never wanted to work for again, so this is a big problem for him, so cut him short. Um, he was doing some awesome comics run, which is awesome comics, quite literally, the name of the company. The company uh, owned by, I believe, Jeff Loeb and Rob Leefield in the early 2000s, late 90s. Um, it was like a take on an aging Superman and on superheroes in general and on classic superheroes. And it was a very well done take. I believe he had some sort of money issues with Leefield, unsurprisingly. And uh, ended up cutting that short, so then he went along and did his America's Best Comics stuff, which was honestly some of the best shit you'll ever get. Um, anthology comics, very, very entertaining. Uh, most of the time you're going to get a 22-page comic, and it's going to have about three different little short stories in it that are each really sparse, or, uh, or I don't know, uh, they're very hasty, I guess is what I mean. Like, What I mean by hasty is you read them quick, even though they have a lot of writing. I don't really know the word I'm looking for here, so unfortunately, if you can fill in that blank, you're more than welcome to. And apologies for grabbing my hair a hundred times, but, uh, okay, okay, back to Supreme really quickly. Supreme is basically Superman with white hair and a white suit, and he was created in the early 90s as a equivalent of Superman, basically, for extreme comics, I believe. And uh, now on to Tom Strong. Tom Strong is kind of like uh, Doc Savage, and so he's like a really smart guy, kind of like Mr. Fantastic, I suppose. And he's an inventor, and he has a family that all... Uh, each are very interesting and good characters, too. And um, you're going to get a whole, every different type of story from Tom Strong because he kind of goes through wormholes, sort of Doctor Who-esque. You're going to get all the different eras of time, styles of drawing, 60s, 70s, 80s. You know what I mean? All these different styles and different artists, everybody from Chris Spruce to uh, Yannick Paquette, I believe, did, uh, did some really good work there. And uh, I think uh, you'll really not be unhappy. And, I mean, I'm a huge Chris Spruce fan, or Sprouse, or however you say that. And uh, I think that's the common thing other than Alan Moore between Supreme and Tom Strong. And uh, basically, I don't really want to give you a rundown because it's actually really hard when it comes to Supreme or especially Tom Strong because he did it in all those different styles. But you'll get every genre. You'll get westerns. You'll get sci-fi. You'll get campy. You'll get uh, fantasy. You'll get everything you could possibly want. Traditional superheroes, futuristic superheroes, Lovecraftian. Uh, pretty much everything Alan Moore could do, he was doing at that point as well as over with uh, Promethea. And um, everything coming out of a ABC Comics was fantastic. Uh, really, really good. So do yourself a favor, people. And if you're a fan of Alan Moore or comics in general, and if especially if you're missing something right now, like uh, in the current run where a lot of the stuff is uh, action, 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 epic, 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 but there's not a lot of depth and a lot of heart, then do yourself a favor and go check out some Tom Strong and check out some Supreme. And uh, Tom Strong just showed up in the comic, The Terrifics, uh, spoiler alert, but sorry about that, I really don't fucking care, I apologize, I do, uh, but it's definitely might be a, a, something that helps you to go get the book, because that's that made me go get it, quite literally, aside from I love Ivan Reese, or Ivan Reese, or however you say his name, uh, his artwork is fantastic, and Lemire writing it, come on man, Mr. Terrific, Metamorpho, Plastic Man, who I love, and I believe it's Invisible Girl um, from the Legion of Superheroes, but uh, I got a review on that. You can check that out if you're curious. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, plug, plug. Go check out some of my other videos. Do yourself a favor. Subscribe, like, go watch a bunch of my shit. I got a whole bunch of good stuff up. And I'm a, an insightful and intelligent individual, unlike most people who are, Dude, I don't like SJW comics! Simpletons. And that's fine. That's almost self-explanatory. Any heavy-handed thing isn't going to be very enjoyed. But if it's got passion and heart in it, I enjoy it. And uh, fair warning for quote-unquote SJW stuff, uh, I gotta be the, the bearer of bad news that uh, I'm the farthest thing from a racist. I don't see things that way, and uh, I really enjoyed the Sam Wilson Captain America run, and I really enjoyed the female Thor run by Jason Aaron. These were really good comics. I know everybody hates Nick Spencer. I didn't think it was that bad, although I hate politics myself, but I didn't think it was that bad. I... I don't know. People seem to like to uh, beat up on people these days and try and find what they don't like about things without ever thinking about what they do like. Like, when they go and they 
get something. They have to have all these stipulations of what they don't want to have to do with something or what they don't like. Never deciding what they do like or what they do want to bring to things when that's the most important thing in the first place. You should come up with what you do like, what you love, and then take a, make sure to also come up with what you hate and don't want anything to do with. Yes, these are important things. It's just like that two circles graph where you find the things that are the same in the middle and the things that are different on the side. These are important things. I don't know if you call it a parallelogram or whatever you call that, but uh, just uh, I'm not going to get off subject any further. Go ahead and check out Tom Strong and Supreme. Check out anything by Alan Moore. He's excellent. Adios, people. There's my uh, video for the day, and have an excellent one.